So your prospective clients don't give you a lot of time, enough time. You might lose chance to recruit like uh, Angela Liu. Does that make sense to you? Yes. What? I was next Angela Liu. <coughs> Were you going to actually say the same thing? No, probably not. So always think about what you speak, what you do at every single moment. But actually, uh, after this session, don't go home right away. Remain seated, okay? Because I'm going to give you every five of you, a small gift. Wow. Because the real test from this slide was not see your marketing skills. You know, uh, over the uh, past 12 years, I was able to grow my team as a top leader of this team because I was always sitting on the front row, period. I was on punctual. I always was on time, trying to make sure that having the first front row to learn from the leader, master, Shifu, so that I can become the next leader and the speaker. So the first lesson that I'd like to share with you is never ever miss the front row. And you guys, you deserve a big clap. By the way, back in the room, waiting for this session to start, I felt like I became like a BTS. <laughs> like Black Pink. Everyone came to me and they take pictures together. You know how to make people feel uh, being idolized. You know? Okay, go. Now, my previous career was IT specialist. I was working uh, with this specialty, uh, SAP, you know, uh, certificate. So uh, I don't know if it's coincidental, but on the road while we were driving here, I saw this letter e B E R P like that, right? Yeah. Yeah. I think that's the same. So I was working in the field of ERP, ERP system like that. So Oracle, uh, SAP, and at the time I was looking like this. Yeah. Don't laugh. Everyone looking at the office look like this. Am <laughs> I wrong? Am I the only person? But believe it or not, this guy is uh, 12 years younger than I am today. Wow. 12 years. He's like Pawa. <laughs> right? I didn't feel like I was looking like this. I didn't see any issue with myself. And I didn't use any skincare products as a guy, as a single guy. So that's why I didn't have any girlfriends. <laughs> so uh, I believed uh, in myself that working hard at a company is good enough, right? So I kept working, working over and over again. Sometimes going to the office early in the morning around 7 a.m. and uh, I had to uh, do overwork, overtime, you know. So I thought maybe working harder here is going to give me kind of a raise and promotion, having the high hopes, but it never happened. I mean, every year I was earning a little more, a little more and to the degree that I don't so the quit, you know the feeling, you know the degree, right? That's why actually, there's no slide here, but that's why I did three other jobs at the same time. So doing this job as a full time, from uh, working from Monday to Friday, and I also got three other jobs as at the same time. So I was working after work, and I did work on the weekend too. So ironically, if you work more to earn more money than the last time you earn, am I right? So it was like vicious cycle. You know vicious cycle? It was getting worse and worse. Having no time for myself, no time for a date, 
And I was not making that much money even though I was doing three other jobs, right? So I kept asking myself, what I pursue in my life? Chungi, what do you want? What is the pursuit? And every time I had my me time, alone time, I ended up having this image. Oh, if I do this job like motivation speaker, especially traveling all around the world, sharing this message, if I did it, you could do it too. If I do this job, I would feel most alive. Just that imagine got me goosebumps. That's going to be my personal mission and calling. Then when I die, I have I would have zero regret, right? So I always visualized my dream like that. I want to do that. I want to do that. But in reality, it was super tough because the talent that I got was not special. I was just not doing the ordinary work. So I didn't have any possibility or chances to become that person. My dream job looked very far-fetched. It looked impossible to me. But one of the things that I learned from Brian Tracy, do you know Brian Tracy? Yes. One of the global motivational speaker, more of Mogulloy guru. He taught this, that if you want to double your income, if you don't achieve your goal, you have to get back to the basics by writing down your dream list or bucket list. So I began writing down what I wanted, the list of my goals, bucket list or dream list. And actually, I didn't think about the probability. I mean, as a matter of fact, in reality, the dream list was not really um, valid. I mean, I was not qualified. I didn't have the skills. I didn't have connection, right? I didn't have budget. That's why it was not achievable. It looks like that. However, I didn't care much. I just uh, purely believed what Brian Tracy taught us and wrote down. But you know what? I did this every single day without missing even a day. I picked up A4 size paper today and wrote down my bucket list. And next day, another new piece of paper, wrote down again. Next day, again and again and again and again. Day after day, month after month, year after year. And you know what? At times, law, law of attraction works like charm, works like magic. Even though the probability was so, you know, was not looking possible, but I realized that, discovered that, I achieved small goals. And then I started to cross off my list from the bucket list. And then I updated with new bucket list. So how I learned about new skin. Uh, she's my wife, and uh, my wife and I got started new skin together from the beginning. And our marriage life and our business life started together. That's why we argue a lot. <laughs> It was horrible. Um, my wife and I are polar opposite in personality. She's a lion, I'm a dolphin. <laughs> She's a go-getter, I'm a follower. So always argue about decision making. So um, we, we just uh, got married three months after we saw each other. So we didn't know each other pretty much. And that's why I come to think of it. Nowadays I think I love her. <laughs> but 12 years ago, it was super tough in you know, our relationship. And uh, we were not experienced in the business. We, we didn't have, have any past experiences with the business. 
So we were struggling. Yeah. I'd like to share this one with you that we are also struggling a lot. Even though we are doing music together as married couple, our performance was very bad. But this is the picture that we went to Hawaii as success trip. This is our first success trip. When we got married, our goal was to go to success trip as honeymoon. That's why we didn't go to honeymoon before. <laughs> <laughs> so we went there. But you know what? As a matter of fact, we're not really happy about that. Because, you know, there might be some people who join Yusuke recently and who never been, been to any success trip, right? There? May I see your hand up? Yeah. You guys are blessed. You guys are super lucky. In my heyday, in my, in my past days, we had to be qualified as EBP for six months in a row. Period. Another level. Now, Piece of cake! <laughs> Come on! So we went to uh, we went to Hawaii as, as our first succession, right? And then, but technically, we are not EVP. I mean, because six months qualification, right after that, oh my God, I consumed, I used up every energy, and uh, uh, just uh, we didn't try to manage our front lines. So when we went there, we were BP, gold executive. We were BR, and we had only one ally. So after the qualification for six months as an EVP, we went, traveled to Hawaii as BP. So how would you feel if you were in my shoes? So depressed. I felt like a loser. So. Uh, I was in Hawaii, I was licking my finger because I didn't have cash to go shopping there. Outlet. I was looking at my sidelines, <laughs> going shopping mall, buying stuff, jacket and dress, you know, because, but I didn't have enough cash, so, oh my gosh, what should I do? Arguing again with my wife the, on the first night, because I'm you, <laughs> like that. Blame is on you! <laughs> So you know what? That's why I feel you. Been there, done that. So don't get despair, uh, don't get depressed. Don't get despair, you know, never ever give up. So came back to Korea, we were bored, committed, and uh, we were mortified because we were triggered and uh, motivated a lot by seeing other successful leaders there. That's why definitely next year, you should go to Hokkaido. Yes. Okay? Will you be there? Yes. Will you be there? Yes. Great. So, uh, one of the ways how we were able to grow <coughs> super fast was every time we had new products, LTO, ORS, we always used our teamwork, team culture. For example, when we launched 180 Korean version back in 2011, uh, 2019 with Velocity Competition Plan. We got together holding the, the box of uh, the product and uh, took the picture home together and sharing great, fun energy with people. And we always try to rent a big place for party. We were kind of party animals. Oops, <laughs> compliance policy. <laughs> so we always do parties, fun parties, recreational games, and you know, and embody new people because people seek after a space where like-minded people get together, and people are drawn to energetic, positive people who have a lot of entertainment. And then, but however, not only we're having fun, but also practically to grow our team and business, we made sure 
everyone doing one demo a day. However, in reality, for the people who had higher goals, we let them try three demos a day. Actually, we never told them, you should do one demo a day. No, never. We always told them three demos a day if you get a goal. If you got a goal, you have to do, do three demos a day because our, our job, the integral part of our job is STP, show the plan, right? Show the product, right? So we did this no matter what. So there was kind of uh, differences between the people who achieved their goals higher and uh, bigger and the people who have a reached in their action, the number of the action. So if you, if you took massive action, definitely you reach the goal. Sooner or later, I'm sorry, <laughs> sooner or later. Can I get a bottle of water, by the way? OK, thanks. And so, the beauty of uh, new skin business is that, you know, we're all here for leverage income, right? Yes. Now, um, I started this SEA trip, starting from Thailand, and then Malaysia, I'm here in Singapore, finally, for two weeks in a row, without stopping, stopping by Korea. And then after Singapore, I'm going back to Korea. And in five days, I'm flying to uh, Da Nang in Vietnam again. So I am not in Korea, my hometown, for three weeks this month. But I don't really worry about my income because I'm making leverage income through the system, through new skin, right? That is why we're here, right? That is what you want, right? But more beautiful about this business is not only you are earning, building your leverage income, because of this leverage income, it, it actually empowers you, enables you to earn time. What kind of time? The time to help people to build their leverage income. It's double valuable, okay? It's double valuable because of that. That's how we were able to become the fastest, fastest grow, uh, growing team in the world. And this is official website of New Skin Enterprises. Our personal story and growth story were shared back in the day. So you gotta have a have to set a goal like this, that you grow your team and your story can be posted here. And so starting as um, my wife and I, without kids, now we ended up having three beautiful, adorable kids. Uh, first born, eight years old, starting going to primary school, and five and seven months old seven month old, and I've got my fourth baby with myself here. Okay. <laughs> uh, my wife's philosophy is, the more, the better. <laughs> yeah, that is her philosophy. The reason why we have a lot of kids is not because I love kids, but because I love my wife. <laughs> and my philosophy, by the way, is, Happy wife, happy life. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you deserve it. You deserve it. Right? Never forget that. Okay? Especially new skin. So let me hit another gear. New energy. So I know that for the past three years, we went through tough times. It was challenging for everyone. Not only for new skin distributors, for every industry, 
Not only for in Singapore, everywhere. Pandemic took a toll on every life on the planet. So the thing is that we're focused because energy flows. We have to reflect upon where we are focusing on, focusing on at the moment. Because the pandemic has changed a lot of things on this planet. The reflection is that if we keep doing the same things we've been doing before the pandemic until now, then you will lose chances to win. Because the game world has changed. The way that people look, view, and behave changed. You have to find out what people want, how people behave, so you can offer the solutions to their needs. You have to fine tune, customize the solutions to their once. Have you seen uh, a movie, uh, Iron Man? Yes. Right? Iron Man here, uh, he is using a AI machine. Uh, his name is Jarvis. So, uh, a, couple, a couple of years back, uh, Google launched AlphaGo. Do you remember? Yeah, some of you remember that. So there was a uh, Hadou competition, uh, Chinese Chinese chess game played by AlphaGo AI machine and human champion. And AI AlphaGo won, beat the, beat the human being. So uh, we expected that now, the era of human being is gone. Now, AI era is rising. But that's it. That was it because we didn't start using AI machine right away, right? But nowadays, what people are vocal about is this thing, chat GPT. Have you heard about, it, about that, right? Anybody who used that? Okay. Uh, Singapore people are very humane. <laughs> <laughs> and anybody who, uh, among you guys, anybody who paid to use this one? Okay. So it actually launched last November, and I was super curious about that. That's why I want to dig deeper into it. I want to do some research to apply it to our business. That's why I could also use it for free. However, I paid for next level services and then found a lot of things. I'm not gonna cover that a lot now, but you know, ChatGPT is really smart. And it can do almost anything as you request. So I wrote down like, what did I write down? What did I write down? Write down here. Show me some example of New Yorkers dialogue who are in their 20s, and uh, it, it answers in a second. Okay, what's up? Not much like that. <laughs> <laughs> dialogue spoken by New Yorkers. But I said, no, no, use more slang. <laughs> it is rephrasing. The same dialogue, same meaning but changing, okay? Super brilliant. How about this? I wrote down here, write a coding of a game of Tetris. Tetris. And then, now it shows the coding of Tetris using Python. The reason that I'm sharing this with you is that, um, you know, why bother going to college to study <laughs> computer engineering, science, English, software? Nowadays, 
Now maybe you must be well aware of this. It's cool. Learning about coding is required class for kids. But why bother? Like in the past, we were doing some outsourcing. If I needed that, that kind of a you know, result with the work, then we are hiring, we hire software company that they do for us, right? We pay them. But now, you don't have to hire them. You can do it with ChatGPT. That being said, it's a huge danger, risk to the computer programmer, computer designer. They lose jobs, right? So things are changing super fast. That's why we have to look at what's trending. And this is very good news. If you got a list, content list, who been you, you've been talking to, and you got a lot of rejection from them, no, 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 and you cried a lot, uh, and then, you know, now is the timing that you can come back to them. Hey, did you check out ChatGPT? You lose your job! You should learn about music business now! Huh? Be more cocky. <laughs> now is the time, okay? So, we are the future, okay? Say it with me. We are the future. One more time. We are the future. Okay? We've got the solution. Prepare for a new place where the world is going. And let me mention about beauty and wellness industry. This beauty and wellness industry is most sought after market in the world by millions of people out there, right? Bottom line, New Skin is a pioneer and frontier. We are the people who can offer the best solutions in this industry. That's why we can win the battle. We are the game changers. We are the difference makers, okay? Especially, I don't know, I didn't actually ask the uh, top corporate managers here, but in Korea, we celebrate, celebrated ourselves to make TR90 number one product in Korean market as number one item brand uh, in weight management industry. Not only in network marketing, but entire industry. We beat them. So, I believe that this is really opportune moment for all of us in every VT market in New Skin to take it to the next level. How? You guys have doing great job so far, but I brought here body awakening. So that's why today in the park at the garden, 70 people came to join body awakening to learn as crunch. And uh, I believe that you're gonna have second wind into your market with this, okay? I'm pretty sure. Here's a, one of our top leaders here. She shared our Facebook group chat that, oh, with this, I've, I'm feeling much, much better with some chronic pain. And uh, so, TR90 plus body awakening, you will make a niche market, niche market, okay? So if you want to learn more about this in depth, then come to the workshop tomorrow. So as you can see, uh, I started this body awakening program in Korea now. It is spreading like wildfire, wildfire worldwide. So see, in Vietnam is one of the examples that I implemented uh, this program, and every city they're doing, you know, body awakening. And uh, this is Chile. Last October, I went to Colombia in Latin America. There, I taught slow run, and uh, the lady in the middle is a team elite who is 29 years old, three star platinum, and her older sister is 30 years old. Four-star 
two years in a row. And so they implemented body whitening in the market. So as you can see, it is spreading all around the world. Now you guys are going to make it happen as well. So see, after I went to uh, Colombia, they went to Chile and uh, look at them, how many people are doing that all together. Uh, this is leverage. If the community that you formed is beginning to leverage, then your income is going to leverage as well. What you have to do is make a fun community where people are willing to participate. Even as running crew, as a customer, they start as small, but they end up as coach and manager and captain of the crew, and then they will become your big leader. So to double your sales revenues and to grow your team, I hope that you conduct your own team project. My team was able to grow our team a lot by using this team project, Progress Photo. And this part is looks boring because there's no before picture, right? Yeah, I understand. Yeah, we have to stick to the rules, right? So I skipped it since. But like this here, she's my sixth level downline who is diamond and you can see that the difference between her left and right arm. Uh, yeah. The part that I carried with body spa and without body spa is so obvious, right? Yes. So you should make sure if you are struggling, if you're feeling like you're stuck, trapped in your status quo, staying the same without making progress, then start this kind of team project. Get together do brainstorming, okay, why don't we actually take a, why don't we rent a, a studio where we, we're gonna actually take a bikini shot or just a full body shot like that, having your own result through TR90 and body awakening. If you do that together, you make a synergistic effect, and that is a lot of fun, and uh, you, we have to actually make a lot of uh, pictures and videos for social media, right? We are storytellers. So we have to actually create these kind of things a lot. And, but I know that during the time, uh, during the pandemic, it was, we were not certain. It was unexpected, we are not ready. The most difficult part was that new skin was, new skin is actually all about meeting face to face, demo, travel, and a party, seminar, convention, right? But we couldn't do anything because of social distancing, the protocol, right? So we didn't know when it was going to end. That's why you need water wings. You know what water wings? <laughs> She's my firstborn. I find her super cute here in this picture because look at that. What kind of thing is this? <laughs> um, we went to one of the kids' cafes there, and then they've got this kind of equipment for children. And she's wearing water wings because she cannot swim well. In the water, if you save your life, then you have to keep stroking, right? Swimming. But if you don't know how to swim, if you don't know how to stay afloat, then you need, you need water wings, right? During the times of uncertainty, we needed the water wings. And you need somebody to reveal your underbelly to make your run. I know you guys are super smart. And I know that you know your way, what to do. But this is a team business, teamwork business, right? You can do 10,000 GSV alone. You know what I mean? 
Did you understand what I'm saying? Alone, you can do 10,000 GSV in your circle, but you cannot make a big team. When you want this big team, right? Then you have to work together. The good news is you've got mentor and training and system. Now is the time that we have to get back together, unite our forces together to make things bigger. Interesting part of pandemic is even though it was super, super tough, however, there was an up, upside, upside of pandemic. Like why, like, you know, before the pandemic, Korean system was all about offline. We never did online system because Korea is not that big country. We thought, okay, if there's a prospect, drive and meet and have coffee and demo and that's it. So we never used online systems. But during the pandemic, because of the lockdown, we had no option. That's why we had to buy the bullet and started Zoom system. And now, even though it's very far, we don't care much. Even they are living in another country, we can get connected and we can communicate, right? That is positive side of pandemic. So the stronger the wind, the stronger the timber. I know that some of you lost your downlines during the pandemic, right? It happened a lot. We lost the VRs. The compelling reason, the way that I see it, it's not your fault, okay? It's not your fault. The reason that they laughed at you is not your fault. Don't cry. Even though they were qualified as EVP, they couldn't go to success trip. They wanted to enjoy more time with the year, but they couldn't. That's why they were frustrated. I'd like to root for you here because the people who are present here at the moment are the strongest ones. The wind was super strong and you survived and now you guys are stronger. Keep in mind that things are not getting easier. You're getting stronger, okay? Toughen up. Before the pandemic, every two years, I went to the United States for a global convention. You did too, you did too, right? So I remember back in 2015, I was super excited. Like I got butterflies in my stomach thinking, bring my own downlines to global convention and they're pumped up. You know, ourselves are really excited when, when we see people smile and happy, right? We feel rewarded, especially as a leader, bringing them to Grand Canyon, seeing that really mind-blowing landscape, imagining that, oh, I feel really, really happy. So I brought them to the Grand Canyon, but to my regret, it was so misty, foggy, cloudy, so nothing was visible. Literally, it was invisible. Even one meter, I, we couldn't see that. We waited more than two hours. And some other buses, Kochi buses, they left. They gave up because it was a long time. And we almost left as well. They asked me, Chungyo, either, don't you think we need to actually go now? We need to catch up. So what are the programs? Wait a second, we're here for this one. And everybody was doubting about Grand Canyon. Let me ask you this question. If there's a lot of clouds, too foggy, you don't see the landscape, does that mean there's no Grand Canyon? If you go hiking, it's foggy. You don't see the peak. Does that mean there's no top of the mountain? No, there is. 
it exists. Your skin is the same. I know. EV peace. Your goal is to hit EVD, right? But it's thought is this thing. It's tough. It feels like there's no position for me, right? But that is not true. What you have to do, you have to trust your online. Who been there done that? Your online is going to grab your hands. I know, mister. I know. It's tough. I experienced the same thing. I feel you. But you know what? As I've been there, it's worth challenging. It, it, it is worth the challenge. So, I'm going to take the lead. Just follow me. Let's make it happen together. Okay? But that's how I trust my online and I became team elite. So I went to Norway as my first team elite trip and we got aboard this cruise. This cruise is really luxurious cruise and I heard that New Skin Company fully rented this one exclusive for New Skin distributors only for a week and they paid like um, seven million dollars seven million US dollars for a week and I was really happy for the qualification besides my online uh, level 6, now they are COA3, they bought me this Fer Ferragamo designer shoes as a gift for my achievement. Oh, thank you. <laughs> but you know what? I was not smiling because it was a peer pressure for me for the second team elite. <laughs> <laughs> it was a sign that I have to go for second team elite in a row. But for your information, second team elite is harder than the first team elite. But I had no option because I got the shoes <laughs> from my home line, right? I couldn't return. So, okay, now it's invisible. Second year team elite invisible. I don't see the top of the mountain. What should I do? But I trust in my home line. They always said to me, once you become team elite, you have to become team elite at least three years in a row. That was their advice. Okay, I don't know about my roadmap, but as you are the one who been there done that, I will just trust you, even though I don't see the Grand Canyon now. If you say there is Grand Canyon, okay, I believe that. But you know what? I don't have many contacts. I didn't have many friends. So what I did was cold marketing. And uh, in two months after, my this, it was like a, a thousand US dollars. A thousand US dollars. It's not just the inexpensive ones. So in two months after, my shoes. <laughs> because I did a lot of cold marketing. You know, what I did was cold marketing building after building. Okay, joining the seminar in the morning, I got fired up, you know, I got motivated a lot and getting out of that, okay, good, great. And then finding a building as a target, taking the elevator, going to the top floor, knocking on the every shop, shared flyer, business card, and coming out, getting down one down floor, and then ground floor. Moving on to the next building, take the elevator, go to the top floor, more than makes sense, infinite pool, and next, and next building. That's what I did. That's how my this quality shoes broke in half in two months, and that's how I became second year team elite. I trust in my online words. Chung Yil, you don't see Grand Canyon now, but trust there is Grand Canyon. And his words were correct. So, 
It is all about you versus you. New skin business and your life is all about you versus you. Stop comparing yourself to others. Kill comparison game. You should never compare to other person. The only person that you have to compare is you. You have to make a progress, even one centimeter from yesterday, then you are the winner. And business is a contact sport. One day, there was a chance that I was helping my wife to transmit uh, pictures and videos and documents from her old iPhone to a new one. And then I discovered this. Oh my gosh. Her album on iPhone was full of weird pictures. <laughs> what is that? And then I figured out, oh, it is all about demonstrations. People who are focused on, prioritize, and concentrate on they behave different. At the time, she was laser focusing on team elite, qualification. So she was doing demo, demo, demo. Normally, when we actually use our mobile phone, actually we take pictures on nice food and nice sightseeing landscape, right? But her phone was full of demonstration, before and after like that. You gotta check your album now, right? If you got a goal, if you got an actually burning desire, you will never give up on, then your daily action will be totally different. At times, it's scary, I know. We get fear. But another meaning of fear stands for Forget everything and run. Stop overthinking. Get out of get out of analysis paralysis mode. We have to become doers. Sometimes our prospects, strangers, they show really Negative feedback responses like that, right? Here, you're trying to offer solutions, better solutions to them, but they are saying, no thanks, we are good, and you're too busy to learn about that. I know that, but you know what? The statistics is, if you get a rejection, no, from the same person, and next time you go to the person again and say, share the information, they say no to you again. And then you visit them again, they say no to you again, like this. If you receive six no's from them, several of the response will be yes. This is the statistics. So what you have to do is go for no, okay? Everybody, Go for no. Go for no. Go for no. Go for no. So every single day, one of your goals should be have lots of no's from people. And manager, I think you forgot to give me right time, right? <laughs> I think I've got only five minutes, but he showed me like 20 minutes. <laughs> so in network marketing, the standard rule, golden rule is is this, SW rule. SW rule means some will, some want, so what? Because someone else is always waiting. The next phrase is next, okay? If the person says no to you, new skin is not for me, if they say that, next, because we have SW rule existing on this planet, okay? The cream always rises to the top and the skin. Wow. Never forget, never ever forget. Sunrise, there's no sunrise without sunset. Your future from now on will be really bright because we got 
we had. We went through darkest the moment. Let me, let me just skip. And the good news is you've got social media. I think there are my generation in New Skin, like who've been doing New Skin over 10 years, right? 10 years, right? Then we are not social media guys. We were flyer. <laughs> we, we always knocked on the door and gave them business card and hand out printed paper flyer, right? But you've got social media, seamless, borderless. Sky's the limit. No, 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 no sky's not the limit. Sky is, sky is your starting point now, okay? Let me skip, because we, get, we have to actually finish right on time. Okay, so let me wrap up today's session. Uh, before I wrap up, uh, this evening, the VOM session for the new invites will be really amazing. I'm selling my presentation to you guys, right? <laughs> Instead of you. You know, to be successful in the business, we have to top ticket seller, okay? If you sell hardest, you will succeed as well. If you want to succeed really huge, you have to sell tickets, okay? Bring new people here. And then I promise, I do my best to share the insight about new business for them to change their life entirely. Thank you very much, thank you!